Welcome back to Renfield Plays. Today I've got a little bit of a rival battle for you. Um, as you might suspect from the layout, it's going to be Wally and his Ralts. Um, although it's a little bit of a joke battle, as you can tell from the walkthrough. Um, his Ralts isn't super threatening, despite being level 70. It has uh, just Will-O-Wisp to damage us with. And there's one thing I know about Will-O-Wisp is that it's not going to do quite as much over the long haul as Toxic is. So we're going to Toxic this, and then basically we're going to stall out the rest of the battle. So kind of a nice and easy uh, arrival here after May, who was had a tougher roster, although we were pretty well poised to beat that battle. Um, so there's not much of a challenge to the rest of this. I'm just kind of going to switch between my Pokemon to distribute the experience for this high-level Pokemon and wait for his Ralts to go down. So the rest of this episode, I'm going to be taking on Route 117, which I eventually will be able to use to get a new Pokemon. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to try to speed run the trainers. There's like eight of them or nine of them. The pain split is going to just kind of delay the inevitable here. I think the computer always uses pain split when it's at the slow HP. But it's probably only got one more toxic left in it, I would guess. Yeah, so I'll just switch to something that has on the lower side of HP. I think, oh, it's got a berry too. Okay. Yeah, that berry just saved him. So the next trainer we need to be worried about is going to be uh, Melina. She's got Ponyta, Girafferig, and Flaffy. So I'm going to try to build a team that can handle most of these trainers so I don't have to keep switching my Pokemon. Come back when you're a little bit tougher, Wally. I was startled by the level 70 when I first <laughs> when I first played this game. Um, however, quickly became apparent that it is there merely for entertainment value as a formality. He will be a tougher opponent later on if I get that far. I've not fought uh, second Wally before. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out Gloom. Gloom's not gonna be very helpful on this route and take on some of these trainers. As you can see, we uh, evolved up uh, Melatactic, who was our, um, who did I want to withdraw here? Ah, uh, Chimeco, uh, who was our uh, Remoraid. No sense in battling with a Pokemon that's just going to get knocked out in most battles. Um, do we keep our berries on everything? Yes. Um, we're going to lead off this one with Huntail. Kind of mapped this out, hopefully to make it less of a grind of switching with Pokemon on the PC. Let's see how efficiently we can dispose of these trainers. Um, this is... Well, the, the last area of trainers that I am pretty comfortable with in the game, everything else after this, um, including the gym, is going to be an area uh, that I'm not as comfortable with. All right, so we want to talk to... Wow, they are moving really fast, huh? <laughs> 
It's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. All right. So Melina sends out Ponyta. Take a water pulse or a flamethrower there, and we'll exchange a water pulse. Laffy comes in for this. I'm going to go into Onyx. I don't think we'll see Seismic Toss here. If we did, that'd be a little bit tricky. Okay, that's fine. I assume that we'll be able to get this in two magnitudes. Maybe even one with a magnitude seven. Let's see. Not quite, but this should pick it up. Even goes for the fire punch there, that's interesting. <laughs> Magnitude 10, why couldn't you do that the first time, buddy? And that last Pokemon is gonna be Girafferig. Switch on this. And we'll go back here and try to get off a crunch. Hopefully, we don't get confused here. Pretty good. Uh, I will switch out though, because I'm afraid of a critical hit. No, I think we're okay. With the Orin Berry, I think we're okay. Did get confused. Okay. This will be a random move, which is fine. We'll just finish this off with Bite. It's actually better for us if it's random move because then it could be an, a move that doesn't um, confuse us. But as long as you don't get confused there, we're able to clean it up with Gyarados. I'm gonna put some berries back on my Pokemon and we'll battle with Dylan next. Now Dylan is going to be using Hitmontop, Mantine, and Magnemite. Should have gotten some super potions, to be honest. We're gonna lead um, Gyarados because the Hitmontop has Fake Out, and then we'll switch out as it uses the Fake Out, probably. It intimidates me back. Okay, so let's go into acoustics here. Oh, agility, even. That's interesting. I do get the paralysis there. I don't have the cherry berry on, which is annoying. But based on the damage that's doing, I think we're going to be okay. Yep. 
Mantine and Magnemite remain. If it's Mantine, I'll probably just stay in here. No, it's got really good special defense, so I should just switch as early as possible. And it won't be using agility since it's already faster than us. Bubble Beam comes out. Okay, we can Thunder Punch this. I think that'll be enough for the KO. It's not, it was just a testament to just how incredibly bulky that Pokemon is. Would have been nice if we got one of those, but we can just go for Shockwave here. Right, and that last Pokemon is gonna be Magnemite. Gyarados will be able to handle this. Or not Gyarados, uh, Onyx here. Now, Excavation does get to level 28 here probably, just close to the cap. So I have to try not to use it too much more, but I think we're gonna be okay as long as we have something with experience share on the team. Oh, not even. All right, now, I don't plan on using Elekid for a little bit, so I'm gonna go switch that out of the party. Lola, I don't wanna to talk to you. Okay, put Hariyama in instead. again for this next trainer. Do we need to replace any berries? No. All right. Uh, actually, we need to put switch two Pokemon because this is a double battle. I have no idea what these are. They don't look that important. Oh, Lepa Berries are pretty good. Don't we already have those though? Yeah, I used those for Gyarados earlier. Okay, so the Gligar here can only use ground moves. And the ball toy they have as well. It's kind of a combo team based around uh, ground moves and not hitting their Partner Pokemon. Do you get here with a magnitude eight year? Which does a decent amount, but we're okay. I would prefer that that hit that slot because anything that's gonna be hit by the ground moves from the Boltway is gonna be a little sketch. So we don't have to switch out Huntail now because of that. Noctowl comes in. Okay. I'm gonna water pulse this slot and see if I can get the ball toy when it switches in because that's how double battles work in this generation is you have to switch during the fight or during the fighting sequence, you know. to get hypnosis there and I didn't put on sleeping berries but given that we're gonna be like a, in a six on one here I don't think it'll be a huge deal I oh, didn't get the one shot there though okay. 
Uh, I think I'll just stay in here. Attempt to go for a bite. I know I'll still be asleep, but I'll go into Hariyama here and just fake out the bolt away. Ah, that's annoying. If one of my Pokemon wake up here, no. Try again. Okay, we were able to get rid of the ball toy. I'll switch out here into Onyx. Leftovers is a little annoying, but we'll get there eventually. There, we got the crit. I'll pick one more. Oh, we pair berries. Never mind. Okay, and the next trainer is going to be Aisha. She has Meowth, Delcaddy, and Metatite. And. Hariyama really cleans up this one. Wally, we just battled. This is going to be fake out, but I'm not super worried about it. Should have stayed on bite. That was dumb. Oh, and I still paid extra for it. Yeah. Okay. You don't need Gyarados again in that battle. I forgot Tackle could miss in this generation. Probably can miss in all generations, huh? Don't think that hard about Tackle very often. Okay, um, for this one. I'll go acoustics. Unfortunately, as good as Chimeco was in the early game, it's kind of dropping off here in the mid game, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Just not quite as powerful. Its base stats were pretty good for the early game. But we're about to be at the part of the game where just about everyone has evolved Pokemon now. Did get paralyzed there, not a big deal. Ah, oh, that is annoying. I think I will switch out just because our odds to attack are pretty low now. Did it just try to fake out me mid-game? Oh, it used assist. I see. All right. Well, that's half of these trainers. I'm going to stop the episode here. And when we come back, I'm going to beat the rest of this route. And we've got two more encounters on the way with Vernon Surf Town 
and this route that we're currently on. So I'll see you next time.